So I'm going to talk to you today about iron deficiency anemia. Iron is a very important element um, for our health and well-being. Uh, hemoglobin, if you're sure you've heard of hemoglobin, is Latin. Heme means iron and globin is a type of a protein that carries this iron. It really is what makes our blood red and it carries the oxygen, the, the very vital important oxygen when we breathe to every cell of our body. So that is really why iron is very important. We take iron from food and the most um, important food for iron is red meat. I know in this day and age with environmental issues, with many people um, becoming pescatarian, vegetarian or vegans, uh, there is no consumption of red meat which is the most important source of iron. Vegetables do have iron but not in the same amount and certainly not with the same ease for the body to absorb. It's a little bit more complicated, uh, the iron from vegetables. So when people are deficient in iron and keep in mind particularly women when they have their periods, they're losing the blood and which means more iron is lost. Iron can be stored in our body, in the liver, in the bone marrow for three months. So we might not even know we are deficient until it is quite profound. So again, a simple blood test, if you're feeling tired, just to check the iron levels and you know yourself, your own lifestyle. If you're not eating red meat, if you're not eating, for example, livers, if you are vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, please do have a blood test to check that your iron is up to scratch. And if it is not, then there are supplements you don't really have to go and eat meat if you don't want to, but take some supplements and then correct that iron will definitely then will make you feel better and make the tiredness much better. We've been hearing lots about vitamin D these days, well, since the pandemic, because it has been shown that it is very important for our immune system. Vitamin D um, is, comes from the sun. So 90% of it comes from the sun. Uh, even when we expose ourselves, our skin to the sun, we have to be careful. We have to protect our skin by using high uh, sun protection factor. And that prevents uh, our body getting the sun waves through our skin to turn the chemical underneath the skin into vitamin D. So whichever way you think about it, I think many of us will be deficient in vitamin D. The darker the skin is, the more likely it is we will be deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D has been shown to get into the processes of 129 disease, disease mechanisms. One of them, believe it or not, is high blood pressure. So there are people, there was a study uh, that showed uh, people with high blood pressure and low vitamin D, when vitamin D was corrected, blood pressure became normal, which is really amazing. Um, the most important thing um, that I would like to mention to you really regarding the vitamin D um, is bones and particularly in women. Well, it happens in men. I see it in male patients as well. Like uh, a man, um, maybe older gentleman falls or break a bone and then find out that the vitamin D is extremely low. So vitamin D is very important for the bone structure. But what intrigues me the most, it's its relation to immunity. Our own immune system needs vitamin D to become fully functional and use its full potential. And people with low vitamin D, their immunity drops, they are become more prone to picking up infections, but also that it, by itself as an entity, a deficiency can cause tiredness also. Again, how do we know if we are deficient? A simple blood test can tell us that. And then the simple supplements can take over the counter supplement, can your GP can prescribe a, a stronger supplement for you to take once a week. And it is a very simple solution to a very important vitamin. The other vitamin is vitamin B12. 
Um, and vitamin B12 is also very important for the brain, for the nerves, for the red blood cells. Deficiency of B12 can also cause uh, tiredness. It can cause pins and needles, uh, feeling of tingling in your fingers or your toes. Uh, so if you've ever felt that, it would be worth your while checking the level by blood test of your vitamin B12. Again, supplementation is a great and also um, consuming the food sources like there are animal products uh, nuts and seeds uh, some some in the dairy um, and uh, it would be really great if you also be aware of that